All right, we're looking at Chapter 6, Inquiry Lab, Equivalent Expressions, and that starts on page 493. And these are what the pages look like. So um, what we're going to be answering is how do you know that two expressions are equivalent? And so here's the um, first example they want to use. Derek and his friends bought tickets for the dirt bike rally. The cost of each ticket was X dollars. Derek bought two tickets on Saturday and three tickets on Sunday. They paid $4 for parking. The expression 2 times X plus 4 plus 3 times X represents the total cost in dollars of the dirt bike rally. So it says to simplify the expression 2X plus 4 plus 3X using algebra tiles. So choose tiles to represent each addend. Use... Um, okay, so let's see. So for 2x, we're going to use 2x tiles. Oops, let me find the marker here. 2x tiles. So uh, remember that I just used the sticks for that, right? And then we're going to use um, 4 ones tiles, which remember I'm using the dots for that. And then we're going to use 3x tiles to represent the 3x. So that's going to be three more sticks. And so to find the like terms, the like terms are um, the, let's see, if we were to count our sticks, sorry, I'm just trying to put this in their terms and I want to put it in my own words. Okay, it says, so find the like terms. The like terms are blank and blank because they are both x tiles. All right, so... The 2 here and the 3 here are our x tiles. So we're going to have our 2 and our 3 because they're both x tiles. And then there are a total of 5 x tiles. Okay? And then I guess they're going to pre-fill for us that there are 4 1 tiles. So we've got our 1's um, our values are here. And then if we put together our 2 and our 3 here, we have 5 all together. Okay? So we have 5 x's plus four ones. So it says to draw the algebra tiles in the space below, placing all like terms together. So I'm going to put my one, two, three, four, five x's together. One, two, three, four, I don't know if you can see that last one, four ones values together. And so it says to rewrite the expression using the addition to combine the like terms, we're going to add two x's plus three x's. And so um, if we're rewriting 2x plus 4 plus 3x, we can call it 5x plus 4. So rearranging the algebra tiles determine 2x plus 4 plus 3x is equivalent to 4x plus 1x plus 4. Are they equivalent? So now it's saying, okay, what if it was 4x plus 4 plus 1x? plus 4, we'd have 1, 2, 3, 4, one more there, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 dots. So again, we have 5x's and 4 1's, and we're still going to have 5x plus 4. So they are equivalent. So, um, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead. I'm going to do these, these, um, these problems with you. So it says to simplify each expression using algebra tiles. And remember that I'm going to use my sticks to represent my x's. So when I'm showing this, I've got 1x here. And then my 4x's. And then my one more x here. And so if I'm counting all my x's, I see I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 x's all together. And I don't have any ones, so I don't have to do plus anything. So now we are going to represent four, oops, sorry about that, four x's, one, two, three, four. We're going to represent, let's see, sorry, I'm trying to change colors here. We're going to represent seven ones. There's my seven ones. And then we're going to represent our two x's right here. And so if we're combining our like terms and um, we're going to combine our 4x, sorry, 4x's plus 2x's, that makes 6x's, 
plus, and then we have our seven ones. So 4x plus 7 plus 2x, we can combine our 4x's and our 2x's to make 6x's plus 7. All right, now this one's that grouping one. So I'm going to do these two circles here. Those are our groups, okay? So I've got two, uh, sorry, uh, that's driving me crazy. So I've got two groups, so that's what I'm going to represent with my two groups. Then in each group, I'm going to have... 1x and two ones. And so when I'm combining these, I'm going to say, okay, I've got two x's, because I've got two of the sticks, plus I have four ones, because I have four dots all together. And so that's what we have here. Now, if you were to use your distributive property, just, uh, just a little heads up here, because we have used distributive property already, we would do two times x, plus 2 times 2, and we can simplify our 2 times 2 to 4, and so look, look, we have our 2x plus 4, 2x plus 4. So using the picture or using our distributed property, we're at the same place. Combining like terms. So number 4 says determine if the expression x plus 1 plus 3x and 4x plus 1 are equivalent using algebra tiles. So um, I'm going to separate this here and I'm going to do my first one one and then one ones and then one two three so if I'm combining these I see I have four X's plus one one and then for four X plus one I mean right there I've already verified that they're the same but one two three four and then one dot and I know that that is four X plus one so you see that they are equivalent so it says determine if they're equivalent. Yes, they're equivalent. Mm, this is not looking very pretty. All right, number five it says model with mathematics. Um, Maggie is X years old. Her brother DeMarco is four years older than her. Anna is three times as old as DeMarco. Write and simplify an expression to represent Anna's age. All right, so let's see. So Maggie is X. DeMarco is four years older than Maggie. So that's going to be X plus four. And then Anna is three times as old as DeMarco who is x plus 4. So here's my um, expression and then to simp so that's writing it this is my written answer and then if I'm going to simplify I'm going to go ahead and do my um, either my groups or my distributive property 3 times x plus 3 times 4 and so that's going to be 3x plus 12. And that's the second part of our answer. So Anna's age is 3 times x plus 4 in parentheses, which is 3x plus 12. So she's 3 times as old as Maggie plus 12 more years. Because remember that Maggie represents x years old. Number 6, how do you know that two expressions are equivalent? Combine like terms. That's what we just learned, right? If we combine like terms, then we've simplified both and we can compare them. Okay? Combine like terms. All right. So we're all done with our inquiry lab for equivalent expressions. And now we can move on to the lesson.